So I'd like to thank Professor Yong Nam Lee for the invitation to this uh, lecture series. Yeah, so, and uh, uh, he's uh, my long time, long time friend uh, since uh, 1990s. So uh, in this talk, I, so uh, the, uh, the title says the, I'd like to talk about the, the decomposition of the derived category. So that is, uh, that is the way to investigate the structure of the derived category. So uh, why I, I should uh, study the derived category? So, I, I, so uh, by, by the way, uh, today's talk is uh, uh, only on definition of a derived category. So this is very elementary and uh, there, there is almost no theorem uh, today, so sorry. But uh, from the second, second talk, I will present some uh, nice looking theorems. Yeah. But today only definitions. So uh, I, if I start with uh, algebraic variety, then uh, to this attached uh, there is an uh, algebraic object called uh, the category of coherent sheaves, of coherent sheaves. And then in, instead of studying the geometry x, uh, one can study algebraic structure of uh, this. So uh, something, uh, for example, co uh, cohomologies and also sheaves, uh, support of the sheaves and so on. So then everything on x is uh, included here. So the study of X is equivalent to the study of uh, the, this Abelian category. Uh, but from here, uh, there is uh, uh, there's some process to go to derived category. So actually this, this step is just uh, if and only. But here this, there, there is some process. And, and here so I, I ignore something, and this, this is a bigger thing, which has more symmetry. So the, the ideal picture is like this. So x is, x is like this, so x is like this. And then if I, I expand this to the derived category. And then this has more symmetry, like a ball. So this is uh, uh, the idea. And and in the ring theory, so there is some something similar. So this is called the Morita theory. So from ring, you, you can you consider the category of modules. But in, in, in the case of ring, so this is uh, similar to uh, this one. But uh, in, if the ring is, uh, if you allow non-commutativity of the ring, so may maybe this is not so busy. Maybe. So, uh, so from ring, you consider uh, the module category. So in the geometry, I consider only commutative uh, varieties. But in the ring theory, uh, you, you can allow uh, non-commutative ring. So for example, if you consider the matrix ring over R, so if you have a non-commutative ring R, then you can construct matrix ring from this. And this is again non-commutative ring, but uh, you have the same module struct. So module MNR, it's uh, equivalent. So I if you go to non-commutative world, something happens. And so in this sense, this is Morita, Morita theory acquire more symmetry. But uh, th there is uh, still more so-called derived Morita theory. Then you get more uh, symmetry. So, so in, this, in this way, uh, you may lose some, some information, but you, you acquire more symmetry, and actually, uh, by losing these things, you get more essential point. You, you can go to a more essential point. So this is the idea. And, and I, in, in this series of talk, I want to investigate the structure 
of the derived category. And the one of the way to uh, study this structure is so-called semi-orthogonal decomposition. And this uh, decomposition is very closely related to the uh, geometry. Yeah. Okay. So this is introduction. Now today's talk is on uh, the, the, the definition of uh, derived categories. So section one. And uh, the first step, uh, I, I will explain about the category. And then, second step, I explain a BIA category. And in the third step, I, I will explain derived category. And in the fourth uh, subsection, I will explain the triangulated structure. So this is uh, today's uh, plan. The first section, first subsection. So what is category? So, so usually uh, we put some additional structure to set. So first we start with set, and then we we put additional structure like uh, multiplication or uh, topology and so on. And the category is another uh, additional structure to the set. Uh, the, in, in one uh, one of the one point of view. So category consists of set of objects. So this is objects. And uh, set of homomorphisms. Uh, morphisms. Set of morphisms. So I, I said the set, but actually this is uh, quite uh, uh, no, no, not correct because I I need to consider no non set but big, bigger than set. But set is already quite big, so arbitrarily infinitely big, but still it's uh, small. So 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 if if they are really set, then it is called a small category. But small small can be quite big yeah, anyway. So, so, so there, 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 so, ho so home, home is a set for two, two objects, object, and this is an, again set, and you have composition, and also identity element identity element element so id in home a a for a so this is uh, axiom uh, and and there is uh, associativity associate associativity law so this uh, this is the axiom of uh, category, and uh, it's in the uh, yeah, usual sense. So so the set of object is some uh, like a set. So object is like this. So A, B, C. So these are a set of points, and we don't consider the inner structure of the point. So it, so, for example, if the, if you consider the category of rings, so these are rings, but uh, you don't you don't consider these a uh, ring. So th there is no inner structure, but the, the structure is given by the arrows, like this, and these are morphisms. So this is arrows, and this is point. And in the category theory, uh, so usually people say that the category rings, and category of groups, and so on. So usually, uh, ob object is uh, so specified. 
like uh, uh, this uh, category of coherent sheaves. But actually, the important thing are arrows, not uh, the point. So po points are not uh, actually important. The arrows are what important is. So wh why is this? Well, for example, the so there, there are identity arrows. So po point, a point in this category is just identity arrows. So this is a special arrow, which doesn't go anywhere but uh, stay here. So this is identity arrow, and uh, the point are just identity arrows. So uh, the set of arrows with special uh, properties are just the, the set of objects. So this is similar to the uh, neutral element of a group. So if you have a group, then uh, there is some unit element, yeah. and this is uh, the object in this sense. So, so if you have a group, so this example, group, then there is uh, one ele uh, unit element and then other, uh, other elements, G, G, H, and so on. So G contains one G, H. So the group a group is a special kind of category with only one object, but only elements can be composed. Yeah. So, group or semi-group? Semi, uh, actually, it's a semi-group. Semi-group is the uh, equivalent, so semi-group. is the same as category with only one object. And may, so in this sense, category is the global, global globalization of semi-group. So there are many points, and each point is a semi-group, and also they are connected by arrows. This is uh, what, what the category is. And we want to investigate the structure of such thing. So, yeah. so this is what, is what category is. Yeah. So, yeah. And so, 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 uh, so so I, I, I have an example of categories. The first example is uh, just a set. And set, set is a category where home is nothing but the, all, the el, uh, all, all uh, identity elements. So uh, this is a set with a lot of points. And there is no, no arrows connecting points just uh, identity, identity element. So this is uh, one of the category. And sec second is a uh, so set divided by group. So wha what is this? So suppose that uh, you have a set X and uh, on on this, you have a group action, group action, and then the home set of point A to point B, so A, A, B are in X, is equal to the group element such that G, A, is B. Yeah. So, so now the set X has a group action. So, so maybe this point A goes to this point B by G. Then this G is arrow. 
So some some point C may be fixed, and then this has more endomorphism. Yeah. So this is uh, yeah something like this. So th th this is very so this illustration uh, tells everything. So yeah, ca category is a very vi visible thing in this sense, and this is called uh, uh, quotient stack. Yeah, so usually the, if you have group action, then you have a quotient space. So the, this quotient stack is uh, the category, so denoted by x over g bracket. And you have also quotient space, just x over g, so quotient, uh, quotient uh, set. So wh what's the difference of this? So quotient set is the just orb orbit space. So if, if uh, these three points are connected by arrows, then they are identified. And then it, what you get is a quotient set. But the uh, quotient stack that doesn't, uh, doesn't identify these points. Just they are isomorphic. Because uh, so there is also inverse map. If there is inverse map, then these two points are called isomorphic. And these are isomorphic, but uh, stay different. So this is the uh, uh, idea of category. So category has a richer structure than just uh, the orbit space. Yeah, so in, the, in, the, in this case, the yeah, as I said, uh, the arrows are more important than, than the points. So that, as a point set, so the set of object doesn't change from X. So there is no change. Only the arrows are added. Yeah. yeah. And, and as I said, it, so if, if you have two, two objects in the category C, maybe object of C, and then uh, arrows, so if G is in home, A, B, and H is in home, P, A, then there are isomorphisms if uh, G, H is identity of A, and uh, G, H is identity of B, so as usual. So is isomorphism is defined in this way. So if there is a group, group action like this, then these two points are isomorphic. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, so between set there is a map. And uh, the, the extend, extended notion of a map to the category is called functors. So functor. So from one category to another category. Maybe F. So this is a map from object of C to object of D, and also map from home, home set, home A, B, maybe like, uh, so if I specify the category, so the, if A and B are object of C, and, and then uh, in, in the case I need to spe specify, then I, I put C he, here, and so the map from arrows to the map of uh, 
the images. Yeah. So the func so this is C and this is D and the map is uh, a point is mapped to a point and if there are two points and there is arrow here and then so this point is mapped to here and the arrow is mapped to like this. This arrow is mapped to this. So all, all, everything is uh, mapped and that uh, preserve identity element and the composition. So composition and identity elements are additional uh, axiom. And this, uh, these maps uh, pres preserve uh, the ad these additional structures. This is functor. So this is the extended notion of a map of between set. There is a concept of a subset. So, if there is a set, uh, in a set, then there is a subset. So, the, the extended notion to uh, the category is called the free Facebook, free subcategory. So, what is the full subcategory? So, if we have a category here, and then there are points and arrows like this and if you take a subset subset of objects yeah, maybe like this so in this case so the so all set of object is like like this subset and then I take arrows on the inside the subset. So this this arrow go go out. So I just ignore. If I take only the arrows inside, then this is called the full subcategory. And and then there is a so if, if you take another copy of this, so maybe this is x and y and y dash. And y dash is the same as, so this is isomorphism. In this case, this is injection or monomorphism. So in the, in the category set case, so I, I can also have a copy of this. And, and also copy here, uh, like this. And then there is a functor here. And this is called the free faceful functor. Yeah, in, in another word, first, uh, the free faceful functor is like this. So if, if there is a functor from C to D, then it is called the free faceful. if home a b to home f a f b is bijective so this is this is a map between sets and if they are bijective then it is called the free faceful so like this and the free faceful functor is very important so this is a substitute of subset in the in the zero-level sets. Okay. And then the, then there's a so suppose that you have uh, two categories. So now C D are uh, categories. Then there is category of uh, 
category of factors. So it's denoted by home of C to D. So what is the category of functors? So uh, its object is functors from C to D, uh, C to D. Then what is uh, home from one functor to another factor? So F is here and G is here. What is the home set? So this is more important. So usually we call this category of functors, but uh, the object uh, something, but the uh, arrows are more important. So what is what are arrows? So alpha is from F to G if if uh, alpha A from F A to G a. So this is in, inside the home of D of F A to G A. And there is compatibility. So yeah, this is alpha A. And if if there is if there is yeah, sorry, if there is a home from A to B, so this is F then I have F F to F B and alpha B to G B and this is uh, G F and this is uh, commutative. So this is the definition of morphism between factors. And then uh, by, by this definition the set of functors become category of functors. So it's this additional structure. And then there is an important definition of equivalence of categories. So if there is functor from one category to another category, then it, it is called equivalence if there is so-called quasi-inverse uh, such that so G F is isomorphic to so this is isomorphic to uh, identity, identity functor of C and Fg is isomorphic to identity factor of D. Yeah, so the composition of F and G is a functor from C to C. And uh, this functor is, so this is, these are inside form CC. So this is a category of functors from C to C. And uh, there are two, two functors which are isomorphic. So they, they, can, they are different, but isomorphic. So I, I, I give you one example. So suppose C is just uh, one point and uh, just identity, no, no other arrows. And D have two points and just one non-trivial isomorphism, so G and G inverse. So I, I ignore just identity arrow. So, so these two categories are equivalent. So the number of point doesn't matter. So if there are isomorphic objects, then uh, they, they don't matter. So th th these are equivalent. So this is a, a definition of equivalence. So of course there is definition of isomorphism, isomorphi isomorphism between uh, categories. In this case, uh, this is equal, not isomorphic. So you can define isomorphism of 
of categories in the usual way. So if, if there is inverse, so inverse means that uh, this is equal to IC, then, uh, then this is isomorphic. So this is more strict. And of course, these two are not isomorphic. Should I give some uh, questions or not? Uh, it's not necessary. No, it's uh, huh? up to you. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, then, yeah. So, yeah, this is not a regular course, so yeah. So, quest uh, question is not necessary, but anyway. So then, there, there is. So, so called Yoneda's lemma. So, there is a functor from uh, from C to home C zero and set, and this is uh, free faceful. So this is uh, this statement is uh, Yoneda's lemma. So what what is uh, C, Z, C C This is O. And this is opposite category. O opposite category is like this. So the the set is the same, but the arrows are inverted. So the arrows are inverted. All the arrows are inverted. Then what you get is opposite category. So that, in, in other words, this is so-called contravariant functors, set of uh, category, category of uh, contravariant functors. Hmm. And then this is a uh, category of set. So from, from opposite category to category of set, so if you have uh, two categories, then what you get is a category of uh, functors. And any, any category C is embedded into the category of functors free faithfully. So any, any category is subcategory of uh, category of functors. So this is uh, another lemma. So in this sense, category of functors is very important. So the, the map is given by the following. So if you have an uh, object, then FC, FA, FA is a functor, so uh, FA of, of B, so B is another object, this is just the home of uh, BA. So F FA is a functor from C to Z. And for morphism, so from A to A dash, then uh, I need uh, what? F for I need uh, yeah, al alpha f. This, so if I have a, a morphism from A to A dash, then I need a morphism from uh, F FA to FB. Yeah, I know, F F FA dash. And this morphism of functors is given by the following. So FA B goes to F A dash and B. So this is Yeah, 
this is FF. Yeah. And uh, hmm? really? Sorry, sorry. So anyway, this is home of BA and this is home of B A dash and of course this is given by the composition with F. Yeah. So in this way you, you have a, a morphism of factors and so and and you have to prove that this is fully faithful. So I have another example of categories. So, so suppose you have a category of rings. So the category rings. So object uh, ring. So non-commutative, yeah, non-commutative rings, and the arrows are homomorphisms, ring homomorphisms. So this is a category of rings. And then each each uh, over each point there is so there is category of modules. Modulo module R. And then you have a module of S. So these are also categories. Module of T this and if if there is a if there is a homomorphism between rings then then if if m is a, a s module then you get ah by the way uh, this notation means that s s has multiplication from the right so the module is here, so S come here. So this is right module. And uh, if you want to write left module, left module category is denoted by S mod, like this. Yeah. And then from here, you get uh, M tensor is ah, no, no, this is R. Ah, yes. Yeah. So there is functor here. Yeah. From M from R module M you get S module tensor. And also for uh, homomorphism between R module, you get homomorphism between S module. And in this sense, you get functor from the category of modules to category of modules. So in this sense, this is fiber category. Or this can be said a two category, a fiber category. So as I said, uh, this point does not have any inner structure. So inner structure is uh, revealed by the arrows, by uh, the by Yonezar's lemma. But also it, it can be revealed by taking this fiber category. So this this module category reflects the inner structure of the ring. So e even if you, you, you don't you don't have any uh, structure inside the point. You can retrieve the structure, ring structure, by considering these categories or factors. Yeah. So this is uh, what I wanted to say. Yeah. This is the first part of the of today's uh, section. Uh,
yeah. Sorry, I'm, I was, I was very, very slow. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but is there any question? No, it's, uh, it's clear. Maybe. So the second subsection is uh, for abelian category. So abelian category is equal to AB category, and the more special is additive category. And more special is abelian category. So what is AB category? AB category is uh, the additional structure is that for uh, home home set. So maybe the category C. Uh, this uh, home set is abelian group, and moreover the composition is bilinear. If the, these two conditions are satisfied, then the category is uh, said to be um, AB category. AB is uh, shorter than Abelian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is AB. And then additionally, uh, if there are, if there is initial object, and if it is equal to final object, and this is defined to be zero. So what, what is the initial object? Initial object is that uh, it, it goes to any object. So home, home set of zero A is zero. And this is home set of A zero. So with this property, it is called uh, Initial, initial final object. So the zero means zero group. So there, there is only one element, and it is denoted by zero. And moreover, I, I assume that uh, there is finite direct sum on direct sum is equal to direct product. So this is by pro called byproduct. Then it is called uh, uh, additive category. So this is additive. additive. So what is direct product? So that uh, direct direct sum. So that direct product is uh, like this. So then so a cross b and if there is any any morphism then you get unique morphism so this is direct product and the direct sum is the opposite so and b then Maybe this is this is better to like this. So this is product, product, pi, and uh, uh, this is coproduct, b. And then if there is uh, any any morphism like this, then there is a unique morphism from the coproduct to c. So this is coproduct. Uh, of two two objects, and they are uh, equal, uh, isomorphic. So this is called byproduct, and these two conditions are added, and then it is ad additive category, and then uh, there is more axiom for abelian category. Abelian category says that uh, uh, 
there is a, a coca kernel and co kernel. And uh, so there, there exists kernel and co kernel, and uh, there is isomorphic bit from co image, co image to image. So what, what, what is this? So this, this is a, a, a billion category. So what, what are kernel and co kernel? So if there is a morphism from A to B, then the kernel is and in the, like in the diagram, such that so such that the composition is zero, zero homomorphism. So uh, it is A B A B category, so it has always a zero element. And uh, for any any morphism such that the composition is zero, then there exists unique uh, morphism like this. So this is kernel, uh, kernel of a morphism. So this uh, existence as a uniqueness is uh, both non-trivial. So this is axiom. So the existence of such thing for arbitrary morphism is required for abelian category. And the uh, co-kernel is uh, the same. So AB to co-kernel. And F, and the composition is zero, and for any for any morphism such that the composition is zero, there exists unique morphism. So this is co kernel. And so, if there is morphism, so there is then there is kernel and co kernel and this morphism is called K and this is C and then uh, there is a co kernel of kernel and this is called the co, co image of F and the kernel of co kernel is called the uh, image of F. And uh, there is a uh, unique isomorphism. So, so this is the last axiom. Yeah, of course, an uh, exa example is uh, like this. So if R is a ring, then home, uh, so mod mod R is a Brian category. So this is basic example. But then there's another category, mod R. So what what are the difference? So if I write uh, big big letter, this is arbitrarily uh, so both are a Brian category, but this is arbitrarily module. And with a small letter this is a finitely generated module. Finitely generated. And the bo both of them are important. Yeah. So, so the imp important uh, results are on finitely generated things, but usually to consider only finitely generated things are not sufficient. So one, one has to consider limit of finitely generated modules, and the limit are uh, infinite. And the limit is very useful in, in a ma mathematical argument. So I need to consider also infinitely generated modules. And over algebraic variety, so x is algebraic variety, then the coherent, the, the category on coherent sheaves. Our quasi coherent sheaves. Quasi. 
they are abelian categories. So this is a local thing, and not non-commutative. This is global thing, but commutative. And the, this, the theories of global commutative thing and the local non-commutative things are very par parallel. So many things are parallel. non-commutative local and this is commutative global so if I have a kernel and co-kernel and the axiom of Abelian category then I can consider complexes so complex So if A is Abelian category, then a complex is something like this. So A1, AI, AI plus 1, AI plus 2, something like this. And this is DI, DI plus 1, such that, so AIs are object of category and di plus 1 di is 0. So this is complex. And if A is a B category, then the category of complexes is also a B So where the morphism is given like this, so AI, AI plus 1 and BI bi plus 1, and so on. And then the morphisms are uh, com this kind of commutative diagram. This is, this is home from A to B. So this dot means complex. So this is the end of the, ah, one, one more thing. So th there's a joint, a joint punk. What are you? Yeah, I, I, I'll explain later. So this is the end of the second section. Yeah, it was uh, much quicker, yeah, okay. So now the third section is uh, most uh, important. This is derived category. Okay. So derived category is constructed by localization. So what is the localization? So if you, if you have a commutative ring, And let's consider a subset, which is multiplicative system. So multiplicative system means that if there are two elements, then their uh, product is also in S. So this is multiplicative system. So for arbitrary commutative ring and arbitrary multiplicative system, you can construct localization. Yeah. So this this satisfies the universality that uh, a this is another commutative ring. Uh, so first there is a homomorphism of ring, and if you have any element S in S. The, ma the image is invertible, so th this is H, so HS is invertible. So this is a localization. Ah, uh, and also another thing is that uh, uh, if there is another, another homomorphism, so ring homomorphism, 
so G such that the image GS is invertible, then there is unique ring homomorphism. <coughs> so this is universality again. So first, first any any uh, any arrow inside S is I know, any, any element become invertible and this is the smallest in some sense. Yeah. So this is uh, commutative ring case. And, uh, uh, and, and I want to uh, extend this to, to having a category. So as I said, so A, B category is equal to the globalization of non-commutative ring. So if you have just a one point and, and arrows, and then the, this category is AB category, if and only if the set of arrows is non-commutative ring. Because it, it has a composition. Composition is multiplication. And the AB category has a linear Abelian group structure. And the Abelian group structure and composition is com uh, satisfied distribution axiom because uh, the composition is bilinear. Yeah. So this is AB category with one object is equal to non-commutative ring. And that uh, general um, AB category is, has more point. So that is globalization of non-commutative ring. So, uh, but the uh, non-commutative ring has, has not always uh, localization. Localization is, uh, so behave very well for commutative ring. But for non-commutative ring, localization is not so good. And for this purpose, uh, what, what I, so non-commutative localization needs so-called ore, ore condition. So I, I'd like to explain this. So this is, as I said, this is set of A S divided by some equivalence. So A A is in A and S is in S and this stands for A over S. And and A S is equivalent to B T if and only if there exists U inside S such that uh, A T minus B S U equals zero. So this is the definition of the localization in the commutative case. But uh, for, so, but in the non-commutative case, for example, A T is not equal to T A, and so on. So m many difficulty happens for non-commutative ring case. So all the, all the condition is uh, something like this, but uh, I, I explain uh, in the category case. Oh, yeah. So all the condition for non-commutative case is just a special case. So, so the, the definition so sigma inside home C is multiplicative, multiplicative, if the following conditions are sat satisfied. So first, all identity elements are inside this. Now this is, of course, uh, simple. And if f and g 
uh, in sigma and composable, then Fg is in sigma. Yeah, of course, uh, if F is uh, like this, and G, sorry, G is like this, so A, B, C. So if the target of G is equal to the source of F, then you can compose. But uh, in general, arrows cannot be composed. So this is difference, difference from uh, non-commutative ring. Non -com in the case of non-commutative ring, any arrows can be composed. So in this uh, cat categorical case, I only assume that if two arrows are composable, then uh, they, they belong to the multiplicative system. So this, this replaces uh, this condition. So this condition is also obvious. But then I need additional condition for arising from non-commutativity. So suppose there is a diagram like this, x to y, and y to x dash, and s and u, where s belongs to sigma. So u, u is arbitrary, but uh, the vertical one is uh, in, the, in the system. Then there exists t and uh, v u dash such that this is commutative. So th this means that so comm commutative means u u t is equal to uh, u dash s. So so this should be about inverted in the localization, but uh, so I want to invert S, and for that I need to switch the place like this. But uh, of course uh, this may be different from S, because this cannot be S, yeah. the, the sources are different. So I can take different morphism, but uh, still yeah, right. I can do like this. And the fourth condition is that yeah, if if so, F G goes to A to B, and suppose S. Uh, there exists S such that FS is GS. If and only if there exists T such that T F is TG. So this is again uh, arising from non commutative thing. So if, if things are commutative, then these conditions are trivial. But uh, I need this one. So wh why I need this? So now I I define the localization. So C and inverse like this, or maybe I can write sigma inverse C. Yeah. So the ob first. Objects are the same. Object. C. So, as I said, in the, in the category theory, objects are not important. So, object doesn't change. But the morphism change. So, form of the localized category is the pair Fs such that mm. so S is inside sigma and so 
x2 y dash and y and this is s and f is equivalent Yeah, this is similar to S over S, F. But that this identification is given by this. So, so FS is equivalent to GT. If the following diagram is so X to Y dash, this is F. And this is S and G Y2 dash T and Y2 dash uh, 3 dash this is R and H so so one, one morphism from X to Y is given by F and S and the, another one is G and T and they are equivalent if there is third one also R, R is in sigma such that these are commutative ah, and, and also there is a um, map like this and commutative so if there is some, something in the, in the middle then uh, the, these pairs are uh, equivalent so how do I define composition? So composition is so from x to y dash and y and then go to maybe maybe it's better to like this y dash and y and z dash and z so this is F S G T. So if there are two morphisms like this, so this is very similar to birational map in the bi uh, algebraic geometry. So algebraic geometry, birational map is not a map, but uh, something like this. So something equivalent equivalence is necessary. Uh, yeah, and then I need here uh, W such that this S dash and the G dash. And then uh, the composition of T and S dash is inside sigma. So this big uh, composition defines uh, the com composition. And to, to construct <coughs> this kind of diagram, I need uh, this third condition. So this is all the condition. And uh, the fourth condition is necessary to, to well define this. Also. <coughs> yeah, so this is a, a localization of the category. So this is parallel to the localization of non commutative ring in a globalized sense. Now, so now in, the, in the case of the derived category, what is the localizing multiplicative system. So now A is a abelian category and COM A is a abelian category of complexes. And from this I take sigma to be the quasi-isomorphisms. So what is quasi-isomorphism? So if I have uh, two complexes, yeah. and uh, there is map, uh, between complexes, then uh, this map is called quasi-isomorphism if it, it 
induces isomorphism in the homolo homology. So if there is a map between complexes, then the, there is a map between cohomologies. Cohomologies is just H i of A is equal to kernel of D i divided by image of D i minus 1. So the, the homomorphism between complex induces homomorphism between homologies and if the this induced homo, the induced uh, homomorphism is isomorphism then it is called a quasi isomorphism and so and one can prove that the, the set of quasi isomorphisms satisfy uh, these axioms and then uh, so derived category of a is just the localization by this. So I, I give you this one example. So let A be a uh, um, category of R modules and uh, take two modules then you can take torsion product uh, torsion yeah you can calculate torsion by taking projective resolution so A, so th this this means P one P zero A. So this is exact sequence. So uh, uh, A is a R module, and you take project or a free free resolution resolution by free module. So that means that the homology of P. Uh, is zero if i is not zero and uh, a if i is zero and so this is quasi isomorphism so that means p p dot is isomorphic to a in d a so in the derived category Resolution is just isomorphism because this is quasi isomorphism. So in the in the localization, quasi isomorphism become isomorphism. Moreover, uh, so if you have two two resolutions of the same thing, then there exists always a map. So there exists always f. So first of all, there exists f, so covering homomorphism of complexes. And secondly, if there are two covering homomorphisms, then they are homotopic. Homotopic. So homotopic means that f minus g is equal to some homotopy. Uh, so uh, d h plus h d. So what is this? So p one, p zero, q zero, and there are two f and g, and. Uh, Q1, P2, Q2, and homotopy is like this. So this is S0, 
あの H0H1 and so on H2 and these are D so this is homotopy between complexes uh, no no homotopy between morph morphism homomorphisms of complexes so So you, you so so a a and uh, this resolution are isomorphic. So at the, you may be afraid of the automorphisms. So if if you if you have too many too many isomorphisms, so so in the real category a and p dot and q dot are all isomorphic. So but they so. If they compose, then you get uh, non may you may get non-trivial automorphism. So if you get more automorphism which is not necessary, then this is not good. But actually, uh, the category is homotopy category. So one, one can prove this. So that means what you get is only up to homotopy. So uh, if if there are two Two homomorphisms like F and G, like this, then they are homotopy. And if they are homotopic, then in the derived category, they are same. If equal G in D A, so you don't you don't increase the endomorphism ring. So now I I write this as a question. of D A of if A B is in the original Abelian category, then the home set between so this so the A A is just one complex. So A is considered as a complex is like this. So at one position you have not the other others are there. So this is a complex, and and this so A is considered to be a complex, so uh, they are object in the derived category, and you can consider the home set. And this is bijective to just home set. Oh. So you you don't increase the home set, and moreover. Uh, home set. So this is first, second is the A B N. So if if A is module category, then this is nothing but extension of A B. In A. Ah, where, where, what is this? The shift. So if A is a complex, the shift comp shifted complex is is A I plus N. So the n numbering is shifted, and uh, for example, in this case, B is just uh, like this. So, so here the position is a zero. So zero. Yeah? So this is one, two, and so on. Then B n. What is B n? B n is uh, for example B B one. B one is shifted. to the left. So you, you see, uh, this is minus one. At minus one, uh, 
there is B. Uh, so uh, this is this is not good. So this complex is P1, and this complex is B. So if if B is put at my degree minus one, then this is called B1, <coughs> and if it is put to degree zero, then this is called B, because uh, B1 minus one is B by definition. And if you shift the complex n times, then what you get is extension module. So th these are the answer is uh, in the in the book by Gelfand Manning. If you if you cannot solve immediately, then or you can you can look at the book. So, so uh, what I said today is uh, all contained in this book. Th that was listed in in the announcement. Uh, so sorry, I. Uh, but I I just want to add a reference. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry for the extension. Uh, just just uh, uh, just uh, additional reference. So for for today, uh, no, uh, next time's lecture. So in the next next time, I will explain Grothendieck duality and adjoint functors. So this is I uh, the reference is Amnon Niemann. This is the Grothendieck duality seven and so on in annals. Uh, no, no, not others. Journal of AMS, 1996. Well, uh, it's it's on the archive also. Yeah, maybe uh, I. So this is not maybe not next time, but the Bondar and uh, Vandenberg. Generators and representability. Come on. This is published somewhere, but uh, it's uh, on the archive anyway. And, and uh, another one is Old Off. Triangulated category of singularities. And so on. So uh, the, these uh, pa papers will be related to the topic. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah.